Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Ryan Sports Classic for another World Cup 2022 Qatar preview predictions for the group stages. Today, we're going to be looking at my country's group stage, which is France, Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. If you didn't know, in the last World Cup, we had the exact same group, except, except it was Peru instead of Tunisia. So that's crazy to have the, nearly the exact same group as last time. And yeah, we're going to be previewing the whole group stage. I'm going to be going more in depth about France because, you know, it's my boys. But welcome, Ryan. Thank you very much for having me, man. Appreciate it, Jersey boy. How are you no, doing? No shitting on France today, bro. Come on. I hope so. I hope respect, so. I hope so. Respect, respect the champions. Respect the I'm champions. going to respect them, but you have to remember this. France, when they're going into a tournament as favorite, never do well. No team has ever defended their World Cup title. So, a lot of pressure and a lot of injury for the France national team. So, let's see what's going to happen in this World Cup. Like, share, subscribe. Share your thought down in the comment section. Go ahead, Jersey Boy. So, first of all, we're going to talk about my boys in blue, the fantastic champions. Two, two, two you can see right here, two stars. 98-2018. We've won the World Cup twice. Oh, I don't care if you've got four stars. Fuck off. <laughs> France, but we've, we've been really, really good. There's a lot of few problems, but, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. So, obviously, Nations League campaign, we were one result off getting relegated. We, very luckily for us, then... Um, um, I think it was Croatia beat Denmark, uh, which led to us. No, I think well, someone beat someone, which meant that they win last. I think it was Austria. Austria lost, which meant that our loss meant we could still qualify. Um, still stay in League A. So, bad campaign there. But I think for the Nations League, Deschamps was really trying to test things out for the World Cup because there's no friendlies before the World Cup. So this is was the friendlies. Now for um, the last World Cup, of course, we came back with the, with the um, World Cup trophy. We had a great group stage. Then we faced Argentina. We had some wonderful goals. This one, Kylian Mbappe really came to the stage. Um, two goals versus Argentina. We had one of the best goals I've ever seen live on TV. In Pavard's volley, what a ridiculous goal! Um, see, then uh, um, Aguero got a goal very late, um, make it 4 3. Um, and then uh, we beat in the what was it? In the, then we had uh, who did we had next? I remember we had Argentina, then we played Belgium, which you had obviously Um Titi by the legend of who is Um Titi. Um, unfortunately, Ryan Amtiti's kind of um, fallen off the face of the earth since that World Cup. Um, he hasn't. I haven't seen him since. Yes, we played. We then we played Uruguay. We had two 0 win. Griezmann with a shot led to an own goal, and then a great goal by Rafael Varane. Then we played Belgium in the semi-finals, um, one 0 by Amtiti. Um, a great game. We should have scored more goals against Belgium. And of course, the uh, the uh, World Cup final, goal by Mbappe, goal two, I think it was two goals by Griezmann. Um, and then and then we had a goal by Pogba. So, we had a fantastic World Cup and now we're coming to this World Cup for disappointing Euros. Um, we had a good, we had a okay group stage. We drew to Hungary, we beat Germany. We drew to Portugal, uh, and then uh, in the round of 16, we played Switzerland and drew 3-3 and lost some penalties. Um, with a disaster, but I'm very confident in the boys in blue to get this shit fixed and have a good World Cup. Um, we've got a little bit of problems defensive um, in midfield. Pogba and Kante are out. Kante out for four months. Pogba, I'm not sure about Pogba at the moment, if he's out or not of the World Cup. I'm guessing he's out, which means we're either going to have to play Shemeni 
and Kamavinga in a midfield pivot, or we're going to have to play Shemeni or Kamavinga with Rabio or um, and some, uh, Ikone or one of those midfielders. I'm not 100% sure who we're going to play in midfield. But that's one of the more ways for me. And who will play right back? Will it be Pava? Will it be Klaus? Uh, Senebaks, who will it be? Will Kanate get in there? Will it be Kunde Varan, Makano? You've got lots and lots of questions by this team. We've got so much depth. And uh, I th I'm hoping we're going to have a good World Cup. What do you think about the boys, the champions? Ryan. I'm going to be honest. I don't think France will be fantastic in this group. I expect France to be around the quarterfinal, semifinal stage. But I think this team named Denmark is a very good team. They show it in the Euro. They are show it in the Nation League. They have been fantastic. One of the first teams to qualify for the World Cup. This Denmark team is a very proven team. And I am going to pick Denmark to top this group. And England, um, France, my apology, France to be second in this group. Hear me out why I predict Denmark to come first. And here's why I predict. I don't disagree with you, Ryan. Denmark and France, we haven't beaten Denmark in quite a long time. So yeah. for me, and I think Denmark could probably get a draw or something. And I believe that France, because of so many players, is injured. They still have Kylian Mbappe. They still have Karim Benzema. All of these players going forward. France is very good in midfield. They will start out that situation. At the back, they are very strong. They have a solid goalkeeper. But for me, I think Denmark is a team that's going to prove a lot of people wrong. And I just believe that the way Denmark is playing and the way France is playing, I think... Denmark is playing much better football than France. And yes. I'm going to go I've with just, Denmark. Just found out Pog, Pogba could be back. Pogba could be back. That's big if Pogba's back. Um, people might rate him as much, but for France, he is crucial in that midfield. Mm -hmm. Next on, we move on to Australia. Australia qualified from the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I um, I watched their penalty shoot out. The, the, I think it was their back up goalkeeper was doing some really silly moves in goal for the penalty shootout. It was quite funny, but mm -hmm. fair play to Australia. Um, I think they're good, but I don't, I don't, I'm not too sure about where they'll finish. Mm -hmm. With Denmark, though, Denmark, as you said, Ryan, have been unbelievable. I think they should have gone to the Euro final because I think, I don't think England cheated, but I do think that England shouldn't have won because that was never, ever, ever a penalty. For England, mm. that's a dive by Raheem Sterling. Mm. Um, and should have gone at least penalties, or maybe Denmark had a chance to win late. So, for me, uh, Denmark are very good, as I said, Ryan, as a Frenchman. Um, Denmark have a very good record against France in the Nations League. They beat us twice in the World Cup 2018. We drew nil nil against them. We just don't have a we just don't have a good record against Denmark. Um, okay. Um, I I think we might we probably maybe this time we won't lose against them, but we could you know France could win against Australia and Tunisia, and then draw Denmark, and Denmark could do the same thing: be Australia, be Tunisia, and then draw, and they, they could go. And I I think they will win the group on goal difference because I think with the midfield and defence for us we might leak a few goals. Okay, fair enough. So, you see any upset in this group or are you just going to no, go? No, I'm going the same as you. As a Frenchman, I still back the boys in blue to win the World Cup, but I think France will finish seconds. And I are going Denmark, France, Tunisia, Australia last. So, I'm going with I'm going with um, basically the same thing because I predict Denmark to come first, from France to come second. Um, Australia to come third and Tunisia at, at last. I think that is very, very, very fair. Jersey boy. And I like it, honestly, with the France national team coming into this World Cup. Major pressure on them to retain back the, the, the World Cup. No team has ever done it. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. Have, haven't and, Brazil done it? I don't think so. Check it. Check it. Check it before Did we put the wrong information. Have Brazil. I think it's difficult to win back-to-back -back World Cup. Probably Brazil win. Probably. Uh, uh, uh. 
people yeah, leave it back. Only two it. countries have won the World Cup back to back. Italy and Brazil. Wow, amazing. But Italy amazing. did it in the 1930s and see, <laughs> Brazil did it in 58 and 62. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough to the Italians and fair enough to the Brazilians. So, people, share your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you guys agree with us? Do you think Denmark will top the group? Or you think France will top the group? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Nice. Remember, I am Jersey Boy going to predict all the World Cup group stages game. And don't forget, we have a big, massive World Cup show on Friday. We're going to hear speak about the World Cup. All right? Leave your thoughts down yeah, in the comment section. Guys. And we will be looking more in depth in the group stages because from what I know, Friday, we will have at least for, I know, the 20, 30, I think 26 or 30 man squad for England being released, which mm -hmm. means, you know, it's the provisional squad. It'll be cut down a few weeks before the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And we'll have at least know who's in the spectrum of getting chosen. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys, obviously... On one LF on one sports classic or Ryan LFC, we will be doing a watch along of, of the first France game, which will be France versus Australia. Um, and yeah, we've got loads of World Cup stuff coming. We're only a month away, so expect a lot of Liverpool content, a lot of Jamaican content, but a lot of World Cup content because the World Cup is coming and it's massive. So we have to, we have to be prepared. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. People, leave your thought down in the comment section. Back Don't to back to... champions, bro. Back to back champions. Come on, Subscribe, bro. like, share, and leave your thought down in the comment section. This is Ryan Sports Classic. I'm your, boy. I'm your boy, Ryan LFC, and your boy, Jersey Boy. We like to say peace out.